Hey guys, it's Alexander and today I am talking about my go-to setup for run and gun e-commerce clothing shoots. Let's go. So what do I do when I'm not filming weddings? I'm usually on set creating cinematic content for various clothing and e-commerce brands for their websites and social media. This is a great way for me to get away from weddings for a little bit and really take whatever I've learned from weddings and put it to the test on set creatively. So I like to arrive early on set. I prefer to scout the location early on and get a great idea and sense of where the lighting's at and more importantly, where it's going to be throughout the day. And that way, early on, I can begin planning how I'm going to shape that light as time goes on. So usually on these sets, very similar to weddings, there's usually a cinematographer and a photographer almost working in tandem with each other to get the various shots that they need for this brand. And so collaboration here is just extremely key. Uh, again, very similar to weddings, and so having that experience in the wedding industry as a videographer is really important and translates perfectly over to shooting e-commerce. Because again, you wanna have someone that you can work with, talk to, and collaborate with throughout the day. So that way you have that communication and you each can get the shots that you need Need for this brand. So what kind of gear do I bring on a set like this? Now we operate halfway between running gun but also what you would see on a typical movie set which means that we have to be light enough to change scenery quickly and be flexible but more importantly we have to also make sure that what we're shooting is quality content and so I typically come on set with a very light run and gun gimbal setup that consists of a cage, a gimbal, a camera, a monitor for me to kind of see when I'm shooting with a LUT over it, and also um, a wireless video transmitter. And then some feet away from me, I'll have a wireless director's monitor setup slash video village. And that consists of a C-stand, a sandbag, a 17 inch 4K monitor, and also to that wireless video receiver so they can see what I'm seeing. And usually I'll have a LUT on that monitor as well. So that way they get the full experience of what this footage or this content will look like most likely in post. So what kind of lighting do I usually do on these kind of sets? Well, it honestly varies depending on the weather, time of day, indoors, outdoors, but for the most part, I operate as minimal as possible. Because again, we are a run and gun type setup, and so whatever we do has to be flexible and quick. And so for the most part, my go-to beach setup is I'll do an eight by eight diffusion silk. I'll build that early on in the day and have it ready to go. Again, the whole day, I'll just use that in front of the sun. I'll have some grips hold that. And that basically creates a giant soft box for my talent the entire day. And it looks beautiful. And so that is typically my go-to setup. It's mobile, I can move it around. In some cases, I may bring out a reflector and just kind of bounce a little bit of that sun also into the talent as a rim light. Uh, alongside that 8x8, but for the most part, that 8x8 is quick, it's flexible, it's, it's mobile, and it works great. So again, we're running gun, but we're also delivering quality content, and that is the key. That is the underlying theme of these e-commerce shoots is being running gun, but still delivering quality cinematic content. So the way I approach my lighting indoors is not that much different either. And this applies to weddings as well. I'll usually try and find a large window source of light and that'll be my main light for the entire day. And I'll move my talent by this window and just use that as their main light source. And this is great for either some really cool moody like backlit shots or some just general key light shots too as well. One plus is if this window has a see-through curtain because now you can actually close that curtain and use that curtain as diffusion for your light so it's nice and soft. Very similar to that soft box idea that I had with the 8x8. So I get asked a lot, how did I go from shooting weddings to now shooting e-commerce? And it kind of goes back to where I had shot a promotional video for my wife's modeling page on social media featuring a brand's content. 
And then that post transformed into me now shooting paid content for that same brand directly. And then once I had enough content from that relationship, I was able to then network myself to other brands and create a very similar paid content relationship. Is shooting e-commerce worth it over weddings? Well, yes and no. And that depends on your situation. So I look at weddings as a stepping stone into e-commerce because weddings challenge you technically and creatively. Whereas going from e-commerce to weddings is probably gonna be much harder very similar to going from electric guitar to acoustic, it's much better for you to learn acoustic guitar than electric. So making that jump from weddings to e-commerce is almost natural in a sense. In weddings, there's a lot more constraints that really force you to get extremely creative with your shots. There's more constraints on time, uh, location, uh, lighting, whereas in e-commerce on set, you have a lot more prep time. You can bring in a lot more gear to really shape that light into a beautiful shot that almost does the work for you. So again, going from weddings to e-commerce is that crucial stepping stone um, to, to, to really be the best filmmaker that you can be. If you begin in e-commerce, you're gonna have all of these luxuries, whereas going from that to weddings, um, it just, it, it's gonna be a lot harder for you. And the one reason why I say weddings may still be worth it over e-commerce is because weddings might be a lot more consistent for you. They pay very well depending on your experience and how you market yourself. But more importantly, you're gonna have a lot more clients consistently than you will with e-commerce most likely. And so again, it really just depends on your situation and what you wanna do. For me, I do a hybrid of both. I do weddings during the peak seasons of the year, and then during the low seasons of the year where I don't have as many weddings, I'll try and fill in those gaps with e-commerce shoots. And lastly, weddings really challenge you creatively because you have to bring minimal gear. You have to be very flexible and very mobile. And so that really ties into the kind of e-commerce shoots that I do where they're very similar in the sense where you have to be very mobile, very run and gun, but still produce high quality content for your client. And so weddings really shape you and train you for that modality of shooting e-commerce. And guys, that is it for today. Those are my thoughts on shooting e-commerce from a wedding videographer's perspective. And so I'll see you next time. And guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up guys and also leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. And last but not least guys, if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel. It does help support it and it keeps you guys updated each week when I release new videos. And guys, that is it. I'll see you next time.